Spent 5 0 here, so uh, we're uh, we just got the parts for the uh, Ender 6, right? So we're gonna we're gonna work on the hot end here. I'm just gonna replace the, the whole hot hot end uh, real quick, so uh, we'll sit you down and we'll we'll get to it, all right? This shouldn't take but a minute, and then I'll show you some of the the uh, the spider uh, all metal hot end that I got from Creality. I will right, we'll talk to you guys. Hang on a second. All right, everybody, let's take a look at what uh, the two items that I've got here. One is just the stock hot end and one is an upgrade. Oh, look at it. The Creality Spider. Look at that thing. Nice, huh? This thing's pretty sick. So uh, that's the upgrade. And then, uh, what else did I get? I think I got some Capricorn tubing. Uh, this stuff has a tighter tolerance uh, than regular PTFE, than the regular PTFE Bowden tubing. It's still PTFE, but it's like a, see, it's like a, a blue color. Oh, look, I get to add another Capricorn sticker to my, uh, my other 3D printer that's coming. So they give you a, a little amount. It's not much, it's like a meter, but it's nice because they give you the, the Bowden tube cutter, which is nice, and they give you some some fittings you can see those the fittings for the uh, loading tube well, that's it there and then this is what we're gonna install right now oh thank god i was worried i was hoping it wasn't a fake <laughs> it's actually a creality i'm hoping it i mean look it looks legit Product name, Ender 6 Full Nozzle Kit. So this is only 49 bucks. So yeah, I kind of roached the other one. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a look here. Hopefully I'll just be able to drop it right in. It's got all the same connectors and everything. Oh look, they even gave me extra nozzles. Nice. What are these? These are all 0.4 millimeter. That's what I use anyways. Um, you know, if you were doing bigger prints, uh, you'd want to go higher. Okay. We got some screws. These look like those go in the... Oh, yeah. You know what's interesting? Here's the hot end. Mine is silver. So I don't know if mine was like an old model or something. But the cool part about this is, is that you got the whole... You know, you got the whole hot end. Look, you got the whole um, cover, the fan cover and everything. This is the best part. Everything's ready to go. There's a little um, junction box up in the corner. All I gotta do is just unplug these and plug this one in. So uh, we'll take you over there. And uh, I think I think probably um, I'm gonna leave this Bowden tube for the for the moment. I will swap it out once I um once I install the uh, spider. <laughs> we'll put the uh, we'll put the uh, Capricorn tubing on there. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna install this bad boy. So let's go over there and do that. All right, hang on. All right, everybody. Let's uh, let's get this thing apart here. There's uh, there's three screws that hold this on. One up top. Here. There's one behind. The uh, wires, which I, I didn't put in, because I knew I was going to take this apart. And then, there's the one at the top. So there's one, two, and then three back behind it. Okay. You see that that comes off. And then we've got to remove the clamp up here, and then these two screws. For the hot end, let's come in here. I also want to remake this piece up here. There's a uh, uh, somebody did something on Thingiverse to add the Bowden tube into here, which I think is a great idea. So I'll be making one of those. Blue 
this. Oh, and we also have to take off the um, the, uh, the switch. So. So now, under, uh, let me see if I can close it up here. Put your hand so you can see over here is the, uh, the junction box, right? So we'll just go ahead and you can see the, oh, there's a clamp uh, right up there too. We gotta take that one off. All right, let me take that off and we'll get this unplugged and I'll show you. Hang on a second. All right, everybody. So I'm just gonna take off the, uh, back here that'll make it easier to uh, access these uh, connections. All right, everybody, so we're just gonna come over here and uh, this says heat one. All right. So uh, what we'll do is I'll, I'll kind of do this in parallel here. Uh, you can see that all the nomenclatures are the same. It says heat one. So we're going to plug that from the top one. So we will plug this one in to heat one. this one. All right, hang on. I'll bring you right back once I uh, get this all sorted. Hang on. All right, not a big deal. So you just got to switch over your um, X limit switch. So you've got to take it, you know, out of the bundle from the other one and then just put it in this bundle. That way it can go uh, back over here. So all the wires are now uh, plugged back in here. So we can go ahead and uh, I'm not going to put the back on yet. I'll go ahead and mount everything back on and make sure it's all working, and then we'll go from there, all right? I'll bring you back when it's done. All right, we'll talk to you. Back together. Um, I don't really like these clamps. They're horrible, this this um, this tubing. I've got some really nice, um, uh, I call it snakeskin, that I'm going to use instead because it doesn't really want to fit in here uh, in these clamps. I don't know. I don't really care for it. So we're going to do that later, but it's going to be good enough for now. Um, the... Uh, Bowden tube just needs to come over in here and uh, I'm going to carry this thing, carry this thing back over. We just need to carefully get it back there. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, next thing you'll see is me plugging it in and turning it on. Hopefully everything's all right. All right, we'll bring it back. All right, everybody. So uh, my hot end's heating up. So I think we're okay. Um, I'm gonna uh, push in some filament and then uh, I'm gonna try feeding some out so I'm I'm not gonna go above you know 215 that's uh, that's pretty much the max we, you know and once I get these I ordered some um, bimetallic heat brakes too so the Bowden tube will never you know this stuff the Bowden tube will never make it into the area where it gets super hot again so uh, yeah, once this uh, heats up, we'll be in uh, we'll be in business. So um, probably the last thing I do is show you a piece that uh, uh, I made from it and uh, show everybody that it works. All right, thanks for coming along and uh, can't wait for the next printer. That's gonna be epic. All right, we'll talk. To you. Easy. Uh, 
that in. So you can see we're, uh, we're feeding material now. Come on, focus. So looks like we're back in business. Now I'm gonna just have to redo the, uh, uh, the uh, leveling on the bed and everything. And so uh, we'll bring it back for that final piece. See you guys. All right, everybody. We're, uh, we're back in business. I just have to adjust my uh, uh, Z height a little bit, you know, the, the bed leveling screws, this. Uh, but otherwise, everything's working the way it should. I'll show you the, the part in the end. All right, everybody. We're, uh, we're back in business. I got my little TiVo test cube that I, that I use. Let's see if we can yeah, pop this off. So, um, I was adjusting the, uh, the layers down here, um, but other than that, this thing, this thing came out money. So we're, uh, there's the little TiVo symbol. So we're good to go. Um, I'm just gonna heat this back up and, uh, start printing on some parts. So, all right, everybody, thanks for coming along and, uh, watching me, uh, Fix, fix what I roached. All right, we'll talk to you.